Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at some of my recent trading performance. And this is actually inspired by a fellow YouTuber in the space. His name is Rainer. Hey, hey, what's up, my friends? You guys probably know all about him. He did a recent video showing some of his trading performance and I thought it was really, really commendable. Showing performance in front of an audience is not easy because you're opening yourself up to criticism and you know the whole world has comments to say about your trading. And man, I'm telling you as a, you know, a, a person in this space, when I have good trades, you know, I get some praise, and when I have bad trades, I get the sink thrown at me. Right, it's, uh, it's the tough side about being on the influencer side, but I really, really commend Rainer for making his video showing his brokerage. He logged into uh, his account and showed the ins and outs, and I thought that that was really, really commendable. So I'm gonna try and do something similar here to do uh, to do what I think is is the transparent thing uh, and show some real results uh, from a, a trading account that I've been running for, uh, I guess, since 2020, so three years now almost. Uh, well, I guess just a little under three years. So let's jump in. Again, there are some ups and downs when it comes to to this trading performance it is not all beautiful uh, the last month has been really good so you can see uh, up about twenty one thousand two hundred dollars on this account and I want to go over this we're gonna go all the way through all the different options here um, so again one month here this is the three month choice uh, which is up about twenty eight thousand so I guess from one month to uh, three months not a huge difference but as we get into this it is not all glorious because uh, what I'll go over the strategy just briefly here. In this particular trading account, what I focus heavily on is trading indices and trading gold. As a US regulated uh, brokerage, Webull allows me to trade these things via, via ETFs, right? So I can trade gold GLD or S&P 500 SPY. Uh, and this is sort of my way as a US client to do this. Many Forex traders, they'll trade CFDs of these things, SPX 500, they'll trade XAU USD. In the US, we can't really do that on regulated brokers. And when I'm working with a larger capital basis, I'm going to probably wanna only stick to accounts opened with regulated regulated US uh, brokerages. So that's why I am trading on Webull. This is the account that I'm using and this is just their um, their their profit, uh, profit and loss uh, tracker. Let's take a look at the six month window here. So uh, this is 38,000 uh, up overall. Uh, and then if we take a look at year to date, so I guess this is gonna be less time. So just so far in 2023, you can see we're up about $41,593. 23 cents. Um, so that's so far in 2023. And that's about where things get, uh, where things look really good. Things then start to be a little tougher in 2022. 2022 was actually a really tough trading year for me um, in, the, in the sense that a lot of what I trade is predominantly long bias strategies on the S&P 500. Uh, on gold, I'm long and short, but I mostly trade only on the long side when it comes to the S&P. Um, so during this time, if you take a look, uh, maybe on the editing side, we could overlay a period, uh, a, a S&P 500 chart over the, uh, the same period, or if we just do the last year S&P 500, you can see it's been a really, really tough year for the S&P. Uh, tech stocks got crushed. Uh, you know, stocks all over got crushed. And it was because of rising interest rates, right? Interest rates put a lot of pressure on stocks and indices, of course, took a beating. And so my long oriented strategy did not work very well during this time. However, in overall, uh, if we go max since the beginning, there was a period of time where my strategy worked immaculately. And so this is the total gains on this account since 2020, uh, all the way through 21, 22, and now into 23. This is the overall results. Uh, up about 123.78% on this account. Um, and again, you can see, I, I like to break this chart down because I think it's really uh, important. So during this time, my strategy ran beautifully. Like my strategy looked immaculate during this time. I was taking a lot of winners. I was holding on to winners. You guys, if you're familiar with the channel, you know my style of trading is I like to let winners run. Well, in 2020, the S&P 500 and gold markets, they were on fire and I was long for the ride for most of those moves. It was to this day, my most profitable period of trading ever in terms of a percentage basis. Now, since then, like I said, we entered into 22, which 2022 was a much tougher period of time. 2020 to 2021, throughout those, those 
uh, years were just absolutely incredible for the trading um, account. And then it went sideways or even negative during 2022, which is a hard one to swallow when you think about like trading for a, an entire year only to sort of be back to break even. But again, it comes with the territory. When you have great upward moves like this where you make big gains, sometimes you're gonna expect to be trading for break even for a while. And that's not a glamorous or exciting thing to talk about on YouTube, which is probably why most people do not, but it is the reality of trading a strategy. There are times when your strategy is gonna work very well. I'll give you an example. If you're a, um, you know, if you're trading something which is a range bound strategy, meaning uh, let's say that you're trading, you're trying to trade ranges where when price reaches upper extremes, you're selling, when price reach lower extremes, you're buying. In a range bound market, you're going to look like a hero. But when the market begins to trend, it's going to be very hard if you're trying to sell rallies in order to a, trade a range bound strategy. So during this time, I was trading a long oriented strategy in a upward trending market. So of course my results looked incredible. During this time I was trading the same strategy, uh, but it did not work nearly as well. Part of the reason for this, or, or part of the, my own um, sort of criticism or, or correction is, maybe I could add some more filters to avoid some trend following upward trades on the S&P when the markets are sort of selling off. Again, I, I was able to actually outperform the S&P 500 uh, during this period of time because I did have some filters. You know, if you're familiar, like I said, if you're familiar with the channel, then you know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for higher lows, higher highs. There were many periods of times where I was not heavily interested in buying the S&P, and so I off, you know, offset some of my trades there. Um, and you know, there's also some holdings in this account that have contributed to some of the up and downs uh, in the in the account. So that also is going to interact with the the profit and loss chart overall um, so yeah now let's take a look at some of the periodical results i'll just shift over to the other side of the screen okay so now we're looking at our profit and loss calendar uh, whenever i tweet about this people always ask where i'm getting this calendar it is within my brokerage weeble uh, unfortunately weeble i think is only available to the u.s uh, US clientele. So I'm not sure about that. You could take a look if you'd like, but it is the brokerage that I use. It's regulated, uh, you know, by the same stuff that most of the brokerages are. Anyways, I want to go through month to month here a little bit uh, of some of the results. Now I have added to this account over the years. I've built it up in terms of depositing and things like that. So you'll see that the percentages are much smaller during earlier periods of time. But anyways, let's go through this. So you can see that the starting year 2020 was really good, right? We had several really green times green months we only had two red months out of the entire year so it was a really really good year by the way this I marked this out because I think this is my private uh, account number I don't know if that's um, sensitive or not but I just covered it because you know this is the internet after all pretty sneaky huh <laughs> anyways let's go to 2021 2021 we had uh, a really really great year though we did have some wild swings along the way so you can see um, you know, up some months are absolutely crazy. Here was like our best month of the year was up $19,500 in one month. And the worst month was down about 5.25K. So uh, yeah, that was a really, really good year. And again, I mentioned, remember 2022 was the year uh, that I gave back some of the profits big time. So you can see here is 2022. And this again, guys, this would be ripe for criticism on YouTube. People saying, Nick, how could you possibly think trading one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that many months, right? Um, in the red, it seems like a terrible strategy. And again, this is the problem with, uh, you know, trying to, to use short term bias to, to say like whether a strategy works or not. This strategy does work. It just has tough times. And I'm willing to accept that. I know that not everybody is with what their strategy, you know, I can understand that it's very reasonable to say this is a really, really tough year to go through, which it was. Uh, giving back a lot of the profits that I worked so hard to get was painful. And it is, you know, if I'm being completely honest, it's just sort of trading 101. There are times where things are really good. There are times where things are bad. The overall point though, is that you guys saw that chart early on 
the overall long-term expectancy of this trading account is to continue to slowly climb. And that's all that really matters in my opinion for this stuff is I'm not trying to get rich quick. I'm trying to do this thing the right way. And I hope to grow this account to millions and millions of dollars over the years, uh, slow and steady, doing it right. Anyways, you can see big down month, 17,000 was the worst month down 17,000. But we had a redemption month in July. July, we had some incredible runners that went crazy for us, almost 24,000, actually marking our best year, uh, month ever in terms of profitability. Or did we have one better? We might actually stay tuned. 2023 has started off really, really well. We had our best month ever at $25.9 thousand up. <laughs> there was also one where we were almost up 20,000 uh, in in March and in April, we are eking out a profitable month so far at the time of making this. So the point here is, if you're serious about this stuff, let me tell you from the other side of doing, doing this for years. I know many of you guys who watch my channel, you're getting into this, you're learning about this, and you know maybe you have hopes and dreams of doing the same thing where you're uh, getting your trading accounts going and you're you're eventually working your way up to you know a mar much larger account size and. Many people take the approach of trying to do it quickly. And I can tell you that trying to do this thing too quickly, had I tried to, you know, if we go back, had I tried to leverage up like crazy after, you know, a, a really good two years, if I had said to myself, look, this is working incredibly, then what would have happened is I could have easily blown my entire account with the same strategies. I didn't change anything. I stayed the course, but I also accepted that wow, this was a really tough year. Now, let me also also say this, even though this was an incredibly tough year and it was a painful experience, it's not something that I didn't account for. You guys know I'm big on back testing. I knew that years like this were gonna come. I know that with my strategy in an up market, my strategy tends to do very, very well with this S&P and, and um, gold trading uh, strategy that I utilize, but in a down market, I know that I'm going to give some of those profits back. The good, the good news is that again, um, when things are good, I'm able to really sort of shine in this strategy that I use, which is predominantly trend following and letting winners run. Anyways, guys, I hope this was helpful to you. I hope this uh, offered you some level of transparency. And again, my purpose for doing this is not to brag. It is to show you hopefully the realistic side of trading. Again, there are good years. There are bad years or good months or bad months. Uh, but if you stay the course and you stick to your strategy, as long as you have done the due diligence, the homework, the back testing, all that stuff um, in the long term, the idea is that is how gains are made. Gains are not made right now gains are made long periods of time just compounding them and continuously doing uh, what is working thank you guys for watching have a great day want to watch me trade live we put together a playlist of all of my trades that i've recorded start to finish if that would be helpful to you then click here and check out our playlist full of videos where i take trades start to finish and show you how i do it